Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're going to get a tour of my sewing room. Um, I was going to clean up some things, but I figured you want to see the authentic behind the scenes, what it looks like on a regular basis, so let me show you. Well, this is my sewing room right here, as you can see, I've got my sewing table. I love this sewing table. What I love about it, and before I move, so this is a magnetic cutting mat I used to use a lot. You've seen it in some of my older videos. I'm gonna show you a little bit as I go. My beautiful laptop, which was decorated by my little niece, as you can see, uh, with some of the stickers. But I do like to collect stickers of different national parks, both well, different parks I've been to and different places, because we love to hike. So. That comes in handy when I use my projector, which I'll show you later. Um, I've got some beads for bracelets, which I wanted to do a tutorial on here on these. And so I put them out because I made, oh, my son made me something I'll show you. On my phone, he made me one of these little holder things and it was from using the beads. And so I wanted to do a tutorial on this and I haven't, but they're waiting for me from when I'm ready. I started a project to create a quilt with scrap fabrics, a fall quilt, and that is something that's going to be coming to the channel soon. It's a tutorial, but for now it's just waiting there. I've got my little bag of clips that I keep with me everywhere and the tweezers that help me sew. And then I have some more clips that I got from Wawa in this little bin right here. And those kind of just stay around. I've got notebooks everywhere just because I like to have notebooks, bottle of water always with me, and then sticky notes for when I'm working on a project. I can just write information on it and stick it right on the project. And then obviously measuring tape, you always need that. It's usually put away, usually. And my little, little bin with my safety pins in there, my tomato with my pins, my little snips, a cup with tea that I never finished from this morning. And so when I record, a lot of times if I'm not using my big camera, I like to use my phone. And I have this little, um, this is a little, I don't even remember what the brand is. It is Movo. Movo? This is a little microphone that I use and I just clip it to my t-shirt. I don't know if you can see me here. I clip it to my shirt and then I prop this into my the back the back of my phone and then I can record with it and it does really well. All right, we're gonna move over to this side of the table over here. So I'm gonna come from this angle and I'm gonna show you how this turns. So this is my table that I do all of my recording on. So if you see my videos, this is the background and I use this little mount here. I'm gonna show you better. So it's. Yeah, back up so I can show you. It's that little mount right there I got from Amazon and usually I use my phone to record from up high. So I will put my phone in here and then I can record what I'm doing. I'll show you. So here's my phone. Um, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like when I use this little mic. So I'll add a little clip in here with that. Um, so the little mic goes plugged in to the bottom of my phone right now it's on video i don't know why okay and then it starts blinking and then the other mic you just hit the button and turn it on now it's ready so i'm gonna attach it to my shirt place my phone where it goes and then i have to kind of like get on my tippy toes and see what it's at and hit record and now i'm recording and i'm showing you this little case and I'm showing you the pins and I'm going to leave the audio of this microphone so you can see what it sounds like. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, you can see what it sounds like and I'll add a link to it. I think I can find it on Amazon. I'll add a link to it if you want to go grab it. But that's my phone situation here. Stop. Take this back out. Turn this off. Put it back into the little pouch so you don't lose it. And it comes with a charger. It comes with two mics and a charger. Um, and it comes with like a little thing to cover the mic and all that stuff. But anyway, so there's that. Um, I have a stool. Here's my stool that I sit on when I'm doing 
the projects, what I'm sewing on the table. I'm gonna bring you back farther so you can really see the stool. I don't know if you saw it, but it's right there. There's my ironing board. I got this ironing board from Amazon a little while ago. The project I just made was a shedding project and it sheds so much on my board. And it's getting also really tired and old time. I have to reupholster this at some point. Maybe that'll be a video to come soon. I've got my little friend that runs around my sewing room all the time. This is the one that if you follow me on Instagram, which you're not, go ahead and follow me at Eloise.Ezra on Instagram. It ate my pattern piece the other day and I could not find it for the life of me. Found it later underneath my green bag. Okay, and so this table, what I was trying to tell you, I've been trying to tell you this all along, but I keep getting sidetracked. The really cool about this table is if you didn't have enough space for this table at all times, you can close it. And you can do that for this side and this side. So there's a mat on there, so I won't close it now. But you can do the same thing, and then it's only a little narrow space. It's got drawers, one drawer on each side. And I know you're going to ask me where I got this table from. I inherited it, so I have no idea. I've looked for it, and I have not been able to find it. I'll try to link a couple that look similar to it. Um, there's some on Amazon and then different places, but not the exact same one. Underneath my table, I usually keep this little vacuum here. This is a Guffy. Is it a Guffy? I don't know what it's called. Yuffy? Yuffy? I'm not sure. But um, it works really great. And I use it to vacuum out my machines when I'm sewing or my table. If I have I just keep it right underneath there so I remember where it is next time. All right, under my table there's some storage. There is a little bit of space down here. The drawers are in here. Inside the drawers I keep like my rulers and just a lot of junk really. It's a little broken because it's old. I've got uh, tracing paper and a lot of interfacing and stuffing I keep underneath here in a little bin. I've got my old serger that broke and it's been sitting here to get fixed. So it's just kind of sitting there waiting. So I just have storage underneath here. Nothing extraordinary. We come over kind of to the other side of the room. Actually, let me show you my machines first. So we start on this side. Um, this is an old machine I have not fixed. It's got the spinny thing. Oh yeah, that's my Cricut machine that needs to be put away. It's just been sitting there for a couple days. Anyway, um, I got some fabric from Walmart. This is what this fabric is from. And I put it there and I'm ready to sew it up soon. So I'll be showing you that hopefully sometime soon in a pattern. So I'm gonna put this aside and some thread and stuff. But let me open this up so I can show you what's the machine that's inside of it. Told you. Just a little bit. Okay. So it's one of those that opens up. Oh, I'm gonna have to pull it out because of my mannequin. Okay. Opens up and the machine comes out. How cute is that? Can you see it? Yeah. It's super cute. I love it. Um, all I have to fix is well, I think I have to fix, is the band here, you know, so that I can use the uh, foot pedal because it's obviously not working. So I got to fix that and restore it. I don't have a big space to leave it open at all times, so I just close it and use it as a table. So I place my stuff on top of it like you saw earlier. But I think it's super cute. I got that at a thrift store for like... I don't know how, long, how much, not very much. I do need to repaint the top, I haven't done that yet, but it's super cute. I have this mannequin that I got from Amazon and I'll add a link underneath, so if you want it. You can change the sizing on the mannequin, so by turning these knobs here and, and the sides, and there's a knob on the back, and it gets this wider or smaller. There's a knob up here, there's knobs everywhere, so you can kind of make it to your body. It's not super sturdy though. It's a little flimsy, but it works. It was an inexpensive model. <laughs> All right, we move on to my first machine. This is my serger. Um, I have a brother serger. This is a brother 1034D and it's a little messy right now because 
I just sewed a dress on it the other day that shed a lot. Um, I love this one. It's an entry level machine. It was very inexpensive and it's worked for me really well. I did upgrade to a baby lock machine, but that one has to be repaired, so it's not working right now. So I always go back to this brother. And then I have my drawers that are just full of just random things. I don't have a random reason for how I shove my things in my drawers, except for just random. This one's mostly zippers and buttons. More zippers and binding. And then this one's got my tools, like different tools. Oh, here's my button tool I couldn't find. This is a really cool tool to measure your, out your buttons. Um, and it was just right there and I couldn't find it the other day when I needed it. Um, I've got some steam and seam tape, some ribbon, just such a random array of things. And this is where I usually keep my measuring tape as well. Sometimes I fold it, sometimes I don't. You probably should fold it. All right, um, now it's my other sewing machine. So my real sewing machine is a Baby Lock Brilliant, which I love, but it has to get serviced because I messed up the casing by sewing through something super thick and mixing up, me, ruining my needle and jamming my needle into it. So for now, I'm using a GX37 Brother. Um, this is my backup machine that I keep with me. It works really great. It's a little bit flimsy. It doesn't have as many stitches as, as my baby lock does, but it does the job. My tomato. Um, this bin has been with me forever. If you've been following me for years, you've seen this bin. It's not really a bin. It's just a box. Breakfast shake box that I just wrapped up. And here's the rest of my pieces of fabric, that are the scraps that I'm going to use for that quilt. I use for sitting, I use this uh, like this chair here I got from Sam's. It's just a comfy office chair, nothing to it, just swivels and runs around. My table here, this sewing table, I got from my, I also inherited at the same time and I painted it but it's still chipping because it was a long time ago that I painted. You can move your machine. And you can actually sit a machine inside of this, but it, not all machines fit into it, so I don't usually open it up. But if you open it up, your machine can sit inside of here. There's like a little shelf here where you can place your machine, and then this becomes like another arm, but I don't usually use it that way. Then also, this little leaf comes in and out, it moves around, and this little thing moves around as well. I don't know if you could even see that. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, and then over here, <laughs> this is not the best setup, but that is actually a shoe rack. If you can tell, you could put like your different shoes in there. It was just a very cheap uh, shelf. Let's call it a shelf. This thing was attached to my shirt. That's to clean my machines with. So I get this little brush thing. Anyway. Um, so that is my cover stitch that I use, also an entry level cover stitch, but I love it, is the Paysetter uh, Cover Stitch 2340CV by Brother. It's a great, great machine. Okay, and here is my embroidery machine that I have probably only used a few times. This is the Brother PE800. Um, I like it, but I haven't used it very much, especially because I don't have anywhere to really use it, it's just sitting on top of a shelf with random fabrics, and so it's kind of hard to get to it, but I need to because I want to do more embroidery. These shelves I got from, I got one and two shelves from a garage sale for like $15 a piece, and I just keep fabric in it. It's a mess right now. And then this is actually an actual sewing machine, old, old sewing machine. So cool. Um, I just cleaned it up. It doesn't work obviously, but I got it from a thrift store and I thought it was beautiful, so I bought it for decoration. I have a pile of fabrics. These fabrics need to be washed. Now, I always, always, always wash my fabrics before I use them. And the reason being is because of the fact that um, if some of these are woven, if they shrink, I'd rather them shrink in the wash before I use them than after I have already made something and then it's too small for me because they shrunk. This is swim fabric. I'm going to be working on a swim project, so that's why they're out. I just keep, keep my some of my swims in a bin 
Reason being because swims are slippery, like those over there are trying to fall off the shelf, so that's why I like to keep them in a bin instead. There's another shelf underneath there with fabric and an iron and my camera case. All right, so this is my uh, dining room table and this is my dining room. I guess I've mentioned that. We didn't use this dining room very much. We usually eat in the kitchen area. There's another table. And so because this wasn't being used and my sewing area was a guest room that was really, really tiny, I decided, we decided that it was time for me to move out here and take over. <laughs> I love this area. It gives me so much more space to be creative. So this is my table and I'm using it as my projecting table. Here's my projector. My beautiful, beautiful projector is an Epson uh, Brightlink 595 WI. And if you want information on my projector, you can find a full tutorial, full video on how I installed it here on my YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out. Um, this is a, my cutting mats. They are two cutting mats, which I want to add a third one, but when I went to look for it, they had sold out. So I'm hoping they have some more. I got this from Wawa and I just piece them together and it works perfectly. I have no issue with it. Some people don't like the dark um, cutting mat because it kind of doesn't reflect as well, but I don't mind it. I really like them. It works really well. Um, and here's my connection for my laptop, so I just keep it here. My pattern weights, I've got these really cute ones from Boho Fabrics. These are like tiled ones. And um, these ones came from, um, what is this, Olfa? Is that the embroidery cutter brand? But I don't think they make them anymore. So that's what that is. Um, but yeah, I love these. I love this. All right, underneath my table, my projector table, I have, well, I have a trash can. I have, behind the trash can, I've got patterns so you know I used to have all these paper patterns I still have most of them I have not gotten rid of them I'm always scared that at some point I'm going to my my projector my break and I still will need my patterns I'll probably go ahead and buy another projector as quickly as I can but I kept most of my patterns so they're just hiding underneath my table and then I went through a stage where I was getting rid of fabrics and I was trying to uh, uh, ship them out and just charge like $25 for each ship, if it's ship's boxes. And I fit, filled up a bunch of boxes. I sent like five and then I forgot about them. So they've been sitting underneath here waiting. So if I start doing that again, that's where they are. Um, I've got this bin. Mostly it's got just random junk in it. Yeah, like shoulder pads, rings. I don't know. And then it also has lots of these vintage buttons that I got from my mother-in-law. And so they're really cute, some cute buttons. The bad thing is that sometimes there's only a few of each. And so I can't use them, but it's got a lot of buttons. I just keep it here so that I can go through whenever I'm trying to sew something up and see if I have buttons that match. I think this bottom door has some slippers. Yeah. That's what's under my table. You keep random stuff under your table, or am I the only one? All right, I have a little plant that kind of just gets in my way, but I love it, so it just kind of sits there. Usually, I try to scoot it over a little bit so it gets some more sun, but yeah. This is my chair that I sit at when I'm wiping Bo. See, it rained today, so there's towels on, on it, so that way when he comes in, we can wipe him off. Um, here is a mannequin that I got from Hobby Lobby. It doesn't do anything. It's not my size. It's just for show. Crochet top. I made my hats and run them fabric out there. <laughs> Front door. Just, uh, pictures. And right here is where I have more boxes of, um, stuff that I wanted to ship. Hold on one second. This is probably a better view. So more boxes. I'll probably just stick them underneath there after I'm done here. That way they're... Let me just do it now so I don't forget. Alright, now they're out of the way. Um, I got this from my sister-in-law and it just it closes off. I thought it was so cute. It's old and, and cool. Um, I don't have it set up quite right yet because this wasn't going to be its final spot, but it's been its final spot for like a year now. So I should have just fixed it up. Random scrap fabric everywhere. Um, a little project I made and it's coming soon. So you're gonna see the whole thing soon. 
and more fabric because I was going to make more of them and I haven't, so I will. I'm just going to put it over here. Now that I moved the box, I have more space for random stuff. Um, scissors, bobbins, filled bobbins, pens, a doll. When I make my doll clothing pa um, tutorials, I use my doll there. All my cords, I actually try to keep my cords organized because I'm good at losing things. So I've gotten in a habit of just putting all my cords back into this little bin. So hopefully I won't lose them. Uh, a bin full of buttons. Random buttons that I inherited. Um, they are like buttons from like just random items of clothing. Like, you know what a lot of people do is they go to the thrift store and find buttons on old shirts. Back in the day when you could buy things at the thrift store for a dollar. I go to my thrift store now and I spend $15 on a t-shirt that's ripped up. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. So, it's not very economical for me to go thrifting, any thrifting anymore. I got on a kick of making scrunchies at some point a few years ago and I have a ton of them. <laughs> so I have some right there. Um, kitchen towels that I use for when we're ironing something and I don't want to touch the iron to the clothing. So we just put these on there and I just always leave them there. <sighs> a project I cut up but I never sewed up so it's just sitting there waiting. I love this little sewing machine I got in Colombia. It's just a little trinket. It is so cute. I haven't found a space for it yet, um, so I just keep it here for now. It's just a clutter mess. TV that I rarely turn on. Um, oh, we went to camp this summer, and um, so if you all don't know, I work at a summer camp. Well, it's not just a summer camp. It's a camp, and this summer we had teen and junior camp weeks and we were on my kids were on the green team so we had glitter and sparkly buttons and glue and paintbrushes to paint ourselves and we had paint but it's not here anymore just in case you wanted to know that my remote um okay so in here i have a lot of my threads and just random junk in there um more thread in here and random stuff i don't really know what it all is this doesn't close all the way because again, I didn't set it up correctly yet. So it's just kind of sitting there. And then down here I have like little different supplies, like some, um, I, I put some like elastic in here and in these bins I have like buttons and ribbons and stuff like that, just random stuff. This side is drawers, more random stuff. Eyes for if I make stuffies, the backings. Um, when I make like things that need like uh, handles and stuff, there's a lot of handles in here and stuff like that. Um, and here's zipper tape, different zipper tapes and hook and loop just shoved in there because why not? Uh, and down here is where I keep a lot of my elastic and stuff like that. And these little drawers, more thread. Some of my patterns, paper patterns. I don't have very many, but I have a few. I keep them right here. Uh, then stands that don't work anymore, and I don't know why I keep them. They're like broken, see, like that one. But I just keep them because I may need them. I don't know. And this is the stand I use now. Also got from Amazon. It works really well. Uh, when you're shopping for a stand, I'm going to tell you, you want one that has right here. It moves up and down. But you also want that moves sideways. So this one moves sideways, up and down, and then the little uh, thing, you can turn it so you can do landscape or uh, portrait, whatever you want to do. So it moves around really nicely um, so I can kind of move it whatever way I want it to move. So there's that. So this is this side of the room. And we're almost coming to the end. We only got that side. I'm going to show you. Not much to it. All right, so here's the other side of my sewing area. I just bought these little shelves not super long ago, so I have to, I'm gonna put more fabrics in here because I didn't have enough fabric storage, so that's what that is. Sewing book, a tree. Um, and this is a little stand I bought from Amazon. So I, I hang, well this was for hanging a lot of like my projects that I was working on or just finished, like my dresses. But somehow all of my kids' clothes and my husband's dress up clothes ends up on this rack because we do, we iron over here. So, 
they just end up coming over here and ironing and placing them on my rack. Um, and so I have another one here, another shelf here. Uh, that's got some more fabrics. My Oliso iron. I have a couple of Olisos that I use. I rather be sewing, ain't that the truth? And then my bird picture that I had in my other room, my spare room, and I have not hung it up. I'm thinking about putting it up here. What do you all think? Comment below and let me think. Let me know what you think. Should I place it up here? Or another place that I thought about placing it was above the machines, how it was at my, in my other sewing room, and I'll show you in a minute what I mean, instead of the clock. So I'll show you that in a minute and you'll let me know what you think. And here's an ironing board, my Olisto iron that I use on a regular basis, which I love, and that's about it. Now let me show you the clock, and you tell me if I should put the bird painting above my clothing rack or above where the clock is. All right, I realized that I was recording that a little low so you couldn't see what it looks like, so I'm gonna show you again. This is what it would look like up here. Nice, huh? Okay, now I'm gonna show you on the other side. So if you've noticed, this clock never changes. It's not because it's broken, it's because it doesn't have batteries right now and I forget to change them every time. And I know I've talked about this, but there it is. So. Here is above my sewing machines. So should I put this bird picture above my sewing machines or above my sewing rack, my clothing rack? Let me know what you think. But anyway, that is it. This is my sewing room. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Um, did it look like you thought it was going to look? I know that sometimes from a video, if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen more behind the scenes. If you're not following me, go follow me at Eloise.Ezra on Instagram, where I do go behind the scenes more and you get to see a little bit more of everything. Um, but comment below and let me know. Did, does this look like you thought it was going to look? Is this as chaotic as you thought it was going to be? Um, yeah, there's kind of stuff everywhere. Anyway, let me know about your sewing space. If you find me on Instagram or you follow me on Instagram, share with me your sewing space pictures. I'd like to see them. I want to see what you have. And if you have something that would help me get this a little bit more organized or something that works for your sewing space, I'd love to hear about it. So either comment below or come chat with me on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go get to sewing because I really want to sew. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.